hello my lovely people good morning to you anywhere you are watching this video if it is your first time and you like what we are doing here kindly subscribe put on your notification bell so that you will be able to know when we upload a new video here we are to all forms of videos local international especially what is happening in nigeria like this one now we have come to you know react again <laughs> Oh God, many things is happening. Let's listen to what this, our brother, I don't want to waste time because this is an interesting video and I beg you to watch it. You are going to learn a lot. Your eyes will be open after watching this video. I saw a trending uh, video that uh, the end hungry something in Nigeria have started. And I believe those who are organizing this program have the life of people that they are exposing to danger. I hope they will be able to protect them. Let's listen. The current realities we are facing today, there is a cold war between the Southwest and the North. I repeat, there is a cold war between the Southwest and the North. When you go on social media, there is a bitter clash between the Northern people and the Southwest. Let's say the Yoruba Renu movement and the Arewa People's Congress. There is a gang up against Bola Tunubu in the north. This is not news anymore. They are calling the president a one-term president. One-term president has angered. That statement, one-term president on Bola Ahmed Tunubu has angered the Southwest vis-a-vis other things that is being said against the president there's serious fights there's serious clash going on and it is going to favor who is going to favor the southeast the south south i remember the southeast they are calling for a separate state of biafra south south ejo nation so this fight between these two elephants supposed elephants is going to be beneficial to the southeast now, the bitterness going on between the Southwest and the North is as a result of the fact that Tinubu has not gotten the North so much involved in the kind of power they used to get involved in over the years. Look at what is happening to the BDCs, how the North is losing. When we talk about the foreign exchange, we want to talk about the Burundi change. The North, the North is losing billions of Naira every week. This is a privilege they had over time, but Tumbo has come and put an end to that. Look at the appointments. The Southwesterners are everywhere, and it has angered the North. Once again, the powers of the North is being reduced by a Yoruba Muslim Muslim ticket president. The North, they are surprised. They are regretting that they voted Bola Ahmed Tunubu, that they brought Bola Ahmed Tunubu into power. When you look at the last elections, he did not come into power through the southwest votes. He came into power through the northern votes. The southeast, they are already made up their mind. They already know where, where they stand, even when it comes to election. If they are going to select or they are going to vote, elect anybody, it is not going to be an APC for the southeast. The southeast, when it comes to presidency, detests the APC. Whether presidency or governor, they detest the APC, irrespective of the fact that we have two states in the Southeast that have APC as governors. The Southeast have a stand already, no to APC. The Southwest has a stand already, no to APC. They are all aligning to either the Labour Party or the PDP. Now, the North is having a reverse support for Atiku or any other person, not Tinubu. The North is having a reverse support. They are coming together to gang up against President Bola Ahmed Tunbu and the Southwest uh, Renew Movement. The Southwest Conservatives are telling them that nothing will happen. Tinubu is going to return come 2027. As somebody who is fighting for freedom, equity, and justice, uh, it's going to be an advantage to the Biafran people. It is going to help Biafra come faster. As these two people fight and bitterness and rage amongst them, Biafra is going to come faster than ever. Gigantic politicians 
are going into their cells in the north, forming alliances against the Jagaban of Nigeria. Some people are saying that I support Jagaban. Some people are saying that I, I say Jagaban will defeat them at the end of the day, but it will lead to the balkanization of Nigeria. The North have not been showing this loyalty. They have not been showing that they are good friends. They are people that need to be relied on because I remember the Southwest have been defending Buhari irrespective of the fact that Buhari has been doing all sort of rubbish. The Southwest have been defending Buhari. Buhari appointed most Northerners into his cabinet. The Southwest did not complain. But now it's the turn of Bola Tunubu who said he was going to step into the shoes of Buhari. They never knew the meaning of Tunubu stepping into the shoes of Buhari. Tunubu is now doing the same thing Buhari is doing on another level, and the North is angry. Now, they are now feeling the pains the Southeast have been feeling over the years. Neglect. Not allowing the Southeast be part of the national kick. Depriving the Southeast of their rights. Now, just within one year, the North enraged you. Now, they are calling Tunubu a one-term president. But the Southeast over the years have been suffering. The Southeast over the years have been patient. The Southeast over the years have not really said anything. That is why they are calling for a separate state of Biafra. And people are angry that the Southeast are calling for a separate state of Biafra. Look at what is being done to the North. It's, it has been done to the Southeast over the years. No Southeastern president will really have a South-South president according to their calculation because I don't believe that there's anything called South-South. So it is giving me joy I'm very happy, one of the most happiest person in the world today to experience what is happening between the Ronu movement and the Arewa People's Congress. I will not join the IPOB because now people are speaking against IPOB, they are this, they are that. Before we had the IPOB, we have already had the uh, Oduduwa People's Congress. So the division of Nigeria has been championed by the Yoruba and the North, they are the ones that have championed the division of the country. OPC, Odua People's Congress, and the Arewa Conservative Forum that have been there before the IPOB. So when we talk about people that don't want a Nigeria, a unified Nigeria, in the real sense of it, we talk about the Southwest and the North. When I mean the North, I, need, I look at the Fulani Caliphate. And some Hausa and other, other, other tribes that have had privilege. These guys have had privilege at positions of power which the Southeast and South, South may not have had, especially the Southeast. So they are the ones that are eventually going to divide the country, going to balkanize the country with this their fight. I love it when they attack each other. Now look at the, the calculations of the Southwest. They are saying that. The divisions between the Southeast and the North will give Bola Tinubu victory in the next elections. That Bola Tinubu is going to return as the president. That he must spend his eight years because Buhari spent eight years. The North is saying that it is only the Southwest votes that will contend against other votes of other regions. That is to say, the Southwest would have to vote for Bola Tinubu. Why the North will vote for Tiku? Now the the bride is the East and the South South. And one mistake the Yoruba Ronu movement is doing, the conservative movement is doing, is that they are not playing their politics well. Any little thing you blame the Igbo man. Any conversation you bring in Ipo into that conversation, you denigrate the Igbo man. Any little thing, and you want to become president. 2023, you want to get the support of the South. The Igbos have made up their mind. The South South have made up their mind. Yet, with every little statement, you refuse to attack the North. You get the IPOB, the South East, involved in any statement. You attack them. You denigrate them. You denigrate them to the extent whereby any, any conversation that does not have to do with the South East, the South East is being brought in by the Yoruba 
Ronu movement. Any crime committed in Lagos, if it involves a Southeasterner, names are mentioned, but if it involves other tribes, the names are not mentioned in most cases. So there is a calculated plan by the Southwest Renew Movement to give the IPOB a bad name amongst its people. Go back to Anambra, go back to this and that. Would not help Tinubu in the next coming elections. So the Southwest is on their own now. How would they get the votes or the support of other regions? That's the question. The North is threatening. Remember, the North don't forgive as it were. The North don't forgive. They have seen the true colors of these Southwest politicians, the Southwesterners. They have seen their true colors, while the Southwest have seen the true colors of the North. And this fight is going to continue and Nigeria is going to divide by itself. According to Primate Ayodele, from the prophecies or what he said about the future of Nigeria, I agree. One of the reasons I come out to do this broadcast is because I've seen that a Nigeria cannot work. A Nigeria, this Nigeria cannot work because the generation that is coming or the generation that is here, my generation, have so much hate for their fellow tribal men planted by the politicians planted by the older generation and bereft of history we are not being taught history in our schools to know the right thing the truth and what really transpired between these guys the intention of the older people is to plant hatred is to plant rivalry between the Igbo Aosa and Yoruba. And when these guys fight, you can't tell me that Nigeria is going to stay one. Nobody would have to come and tell any of these tribes that Nigeria is one. At this point in time, we've had pastors, men of God, that said so that Nigeria. You heard what our brother said. Cannot Let's go divide. to the comments. Nigeria cannot uh, our Thanks for watching. We used to hear that.